Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new movie review. Just come out of the IMAX here in Ashford from seeing the latest Disney Pixar film, Inside Out 2. Yes, absolutely loved the first film, absolutely adored it. It's one of my favourite Pixar films. But is this one any good? And uh, where does it sit alongside its predecessor? Well, let's talk a little bit about it. Okay, so we know the concept of Inside Out. We've got this little girl called Riley and you get all these emotions inside her head and we interact with them. You know, we've got joy, we've got sadness and anger and other, other emotions. And it tells the story of this little girl growing up, moving house uh, and all of her emotions, uh, you know, with her family and going to a new school and making new friends and things like that. This one moves into the teenage years. So we're hitting 13, puberty is just around the corner and Riley gets to go on one last adventure with a couple of her school friends to go to ice hockey tryouts uh, for the team uh, before they move on to uh, different schools. And as you get older, you get different emotions. So yes, we have new emotions coming in, including anxiety, who I think was one of my favorites. Uh, we have envy, we have embarrassment, which was hilarious. Uh, and we also have nostalgia every now and again popping up. Now there was a really good mixture in the first film uh, of uh, inside Riley's head, uh, with all the memory balls, joy and sadness, his little travels, uh, in, you know, encountering Bing Bong. Uh, and there was also a great mixture of Riley's growing up with her parents and everything. This film is a little bit different. It's a little bit more complicated uh, because we got the extra emotions thrown in. Uh, there's not so much of her parents. There's very few scenes with her parents in the film. It's mainly about Riley hitting teenage years, uh, spending time with her friends and meeting new friends uh, and new adventures. So for me, the film was not as good as the first film. It was still a really good film. It's a really solid Pixar film with lots of great messages. Uh, but I felt for me, this um, focused a little bit too much on the ice hockey. They could have held back on that and focused a lot more on, you know, uh, the emotions and uh, and how she was feeling. I think the first film felt a lot bigger, grander in scale, because we get to see inside Riley's head. You know, we get to see the, the lost forgotten areas uh, of, of memories, you know, of years gone past. We get to see all those little lands, you know, family land, friendship land, uh, and visiting those. And this is more on a smaller scale. But like I say, I think they did do the ice hockey a little bit too much in the film. But uh, it's not taking anything away from the film. I love the characters. The new characters were great. Uh, you know, we had the older characters returning as well. It looked beautiful on the IMAX. It was so colourful, just like the first film. The sound was great as well. The music was good as well. Now, this film didn't hit me emotionally as much as the first film uh, on several levels. There were a couple of instances in the first film where I just, I just teared up so much. Uh, so, yes, it wasn't as emotional as the first film, uh, but I think they still did a great job. And it's definitely one of the better Pixar films that they've put out. And I'm so glad that they just didn't throw this on Disney Plus because no Pixar film deserves to be just shoved on Disney Plus and uh, miss out on a, you know, a big screen experience. Fantastic. So there we go. So I would definitely rec recommend seeing this on the big screen. And uh, yeah, just if you're into your Disney, you're into your Pixar, go and watch it. Uh, there is an end credit scene as well, which is quite humorous. 
and uh, I think they're kind of setting the film up as well uh, for Inside Out 3 uh, or maybe some further adventures maybe through Disney Plus but as a film in whole you know it should be seen on the big screen so definitely two thumbs up from me yes so hope you enjoyed the video if you did like it by giving it some thumbs up don't forget to subscribe comment and share and i'll see you on the next video very soon bye bye